The Borno State Government said it will establish an additional repentant Boko Haram camp to ease the peace and reintegration process of surrendered terrorists. The revelation was made during the commemoration of the World Peace Day in Maiduguri, organized by the Peace Ambassador Center of Humanitarian Aid and Empowerment. Now our correspondent, Petrus Kruzzi, has more on that. For more than a decade, insurgency has displaced millions of people in northeast Nigeria, disrupting the order of their lives. This threat to peace and existence has eroded social cohesion and triggered human rights violations and most especially heightened poverty, unemployment and socio-economic imbalances. 2022 Peace International Day focuses on putting an end to racism and building peace. For the Peace Ambassadors Center for Humanitarian Aid and Empowerment and its partners, today's gathering focuses on advocacy for peace in communities targeted for return and reintegration of repentant Boko Haram terrorists. This I want to end by calling on the Borno State Government uh, to uh, ensure that the civil society are strongly involved in these processes. For now, as a center, we are involved in the process of sensitizing the repentant and we are uh, appealing to the government that more stakeholders are then in the framework of integration and other uh, aspects of which this recommendation that will come up with will ensure that we follow up with the various government agencies. We have over 52,000. That is a great burden on the state government. That is why a committee was set now under the challenge for the state government to create the second camp. Very soon, we are creating the second camp around Bongola Road. And on our board, we have the civil society because the Nigerian Human Rights Commission was represented on the board. There is no family that has not been affected by this insurgency. So as a result, peace is an issue for all of us to address and face. And as mothers, parents, guardians, the youth, it is a collective responsibility that all of us should awaken to. My commander always says that the kinetic is always only 25%. The non kinetic, which involves all of us, is 75%. As of now. So please, I want to encourage us, especially the citizens, give us information. You know, those that does not want peace, they will trade peace for monetary gains. They will trade peace for their selfish interests. The forum is also an avenue for a panel discussion which stresses the impact of discrimination on young people in the context of insurgency and addressing discrimination through peace-building approaches. It is expected that the message of peace-building will be a collective responsibility of all Nigerians. Bicho Skuruti, Viewer Television News, Meiduguri.